Outside the Hunt is brought to you by McKinstry Chrysler, where the tradition of excellence continues. Why is your face all red, ladies? <laughs> we have been exercising. Having... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we've been exercising. <laughs> we have walked to the liquor store twice. And yeah. <laughs> We have been having a good time. We yeah. are. We're making the best of this situation, being stuck in Pickle Lake, yep. and we are having a blast. Yep. This week's Outside the Hunt segment is about exactly that. Making the best of a bad situation. Some things are out of our control, like the weather. All we can do is make the best of the situation. Well, how's day two of moose hunting, guys? Still wet. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you can see, sorry Mark, Clearly you can see where we haven't left Pickle Lake yet. Uh, we've got weather in, this, in, in the area and uh, we spent the night last night in the hotel and uh, there may be a small window this afternoon to fly out of so we're gonna go get our stuff. Uh, Pete just said why don't you go get your stuff, get it weighed up. That way there if we do get a little window we can just file it on the plane and get out of here so uh, so we're gonna do that. But. Yeah I'm hoping we got priority to get uh, get out of here. We've been cramped up for a couple of days now and kind of stuck in Pickle Lake, so we're, we're ready to get back out to camp. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good trip. It's always that anticipation, eh? and you're, you're excited to get out there, and you, you know, we were up at 2.30 yesterday morning, drove to Pickle Lake, got here, and then everything slowed down. It's been the waiting game. We still had a good time last night though, like it was, we still had a lot of laughs and <laughs> hung out and... That's for sure. Yeah, had a little bit of fun. Killed some time for sure. Yeah. We're stuck in a pickle. We're stuck yeah. in a pickle. <laughs> stuck in a pickle. Okay <laughs> boys, let's go get our gear, we'll get it weighed up and we'll, uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed. And, yeah. Uh, at least I'm with a, I'm with a good group of guys, Kim and, uh, and Amber in the room as well. Uh, Kim, Kim's one of the owners of Birch Park Lodge. And uh, at least we're with good people. You wouldn't want to be stuck in Pickle Lake with people you don't like, that's for sure. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> right on. Well, this is a good sign, Kim. I see there's a plane over there in the yes. air. We've been holed up in the Pickle Lake Hotel for the last 48 hours, but we're about to go to Trout Fly. You are. Tell me a little bit about Trout Fly, Kim. Trout Fly is a beautiful lake, clear. But I know there's moose there. I saw prints in the sand. We're gonna um, prove there's booths yes. there. <laughs> yeah. and now you, catch some fish too. you picked up this camp for of all things Ontario residents. Yep. Because it's very easy to get tags in 17. Two guys, any two Ontario residents that are in Pool 8 are guaranteed a, a tag. Come on up. There's no more tags in eight and five in a lot of these areas that we used to hunt as Ontario residents. Right. So this is a chance for the Ontario residents to once again harvest bulls or cows. There's so many moose up there. What we did, you can thank me later folks, but we <laughs> pulled cow tags for this trip because there's so many moose. We're gonna film some of the bulls up there to show you what is out there, but we pulled cow tags so we could leave the bulls for you guys and population control of course is a big key. So so yeah. we're off and within an hour or so we're, we're gonna load up the otter and we're gonna fly out. Kim, you're going into Wigwasins in I a am. few hours with a load of stuff for the moose hunters up there. Right. So don't think this is just for Ontario residents. You also <laughs> cater to the yes. non-residents yes. in, in Wigwasins Lake. So we've got it all covered. So Kim, yeah. I can't thank you enough for uh, for opening these doors for us and helping us out the last you're couple welcome. of years. We've, we've certainly enjoyed the friendship that we've created with you and Mike. Oh yeah. Next week's Outside the Hunt segment will be the continuation of this hunt now that we got the trout fly. Don't forget to check out the hunting and fishing packages offered by Birchbark Lodge at birchbarklodge.com. You can find The Real Deal on Instagram, The Real Deal TV, or on Facebook at The Real Deal with Mark. M A R C. This segment was brought to you by Heavy Shot. I didn't come this far to miss. Outside the Hunt is brought to you by McKinstry Chrysler, where the tradition of excellence continues. 
I sure hope you caught last week's Outside the Hunt segment because this week is a continuation of that segment as we go after moose at Trout Fly Lake through birchbarklodge.com. This camp was specially purchased so Ontario residents can get tags easily and hunt adult moose. doesn't get much prettier than that does it we're uh, finally got a full day here to hunt definitely had a little a few little issues on this trip uh, weathered in and pick a lake for a couple days and then we did get in here nice and early yesterday but the wind was just brutal as you saw and and there's no way we could get out on a lake we did try but uh, we didn't get very far and we we realized it's not worth the risk so this morning it's nice and calm I'm tired now Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the size of that white fish. Look at the size of that fish. You know what? We got our work cut out for us out here for sure. Not only was our timeline cut down a bit, but to pull a, a cow out during the rut is a difficult task as well. And we did know that coming into this, obviously. But when you've got stuff like this behind you to wake up to every morning, you know you're in heaven, a place like heaven. This is incredible. I've got goosebumps just looking at this, and I know the camera's not gonna do it justice. But you know what, we've got all day today and all day tomorrow, we've also got some weather moving in again that's, that's probably gonna uh, hurt our hunt a little bit, but we're gonna give her give it our hardest right now all day today uh, Ian from Dam Beaver Trapping Supplies and Mark are going into the North Lake I'm gonna go back to where I've spent the last couple of uh, couple of mornings and evenings and it, I mean this place there's is littered with moose We haven't had the luck that we were hoping to but we took on a monumental task and then we're all right with that And you know what? There's a good chance we'll go home without any moose meat, but I may never forget this right behind me. That is incredible. <laughs> He's staying down. It feels like a big walleye. Look at that, look at that fish. That's just your perfect, perfect fish. Just gonna weigh them and, uh, and release them here. Not weigh them, measure them I mean. Oh, what a break we just got. We literally just got a downpour. You'd never know it from the looks of this beautiful sky out here. We've got about an hour and a half of daylight. It cleared up. We got a belly full of all things. We've got a belly full of goose chili. Yes, goose, not moose, goose chili. So what, what better way to spend an evening right now than uh, just go out for an hour and a half or so and we've got camera girl Amber running camera finally here. So that, uh, that takes a little pressure off for sure. So just want to go out. We'd love to see a moose at this point and, uh, and we'll just, uh, we'll just kind of make a plan for tomorrow, which is our last day of hunting. So. Here we go. I cut open to the other lake, Amber, that I just said we should go drive by because it's such a nice spot. Really? Yep. That it's little so tiny close opening. to camp, too. Right there, there. It's a big ball. That is a big ball. That's kind of balls that they're up here. Isn't that something? You know, I'm uh, I'm legally allowed to shoot that cow because I did pull a cow tag out here so we can save the bulls for for the, the guests that'll be coming next year. But uh, 
we've decided not to shoot her because she's got a calf with her. And, and it's, a, it's an early season up here. We're a few weeks earlier than uh, the rest of Ontario the season opens. So that's a little younger, a little smaller, but uh, that's a prime example of what you can get up here at Trout Fly. You know, you just got to book through with Kim and Mike at birchbarklodge.com. Any two Ontario residents that are, that are in pool one can pull a cow or a bull tag, and you can have this experience. We've got this beautiful cow and calf at 200 yards from us. And yeah, we're at the cabin. We're just kind of packing up to leave today. Our plane comes in in a few hours. And uh, we got this beautiful site in front of us. They've closed the distance from about 400 yards to, uh, they're at about 200 yards. So, <laughs> the calf is playing out there. So just enjoy the beauty of this and, uh, and you can have this experience next year if you want. You can find The Real Deal on Instagram, The Real Deal TV, or on Facebook at The Real Deal with Mark. M A R C. This segment was brought to you by Heavy Shot. I didn't come this far to miss.